Hello and welcome to the Legendary Pokemaster. Today I will be showing you all of my rare cards here. By rare I don't mean the starred cards such as um, this one right here, Watchog. I don't mean that type of rare. I mean EXs, Level Xs, Ace Specs, or overall just rare cards. So I will be reviewing those. I have about 40 here. So let's get started. Three, two, one. I'll keep the deck over here. Let's draw our first card. This is a Meloetta EX full art and it kinda it kinda sparkles like that. It's a nice holographic card. And I have kept it in mint condition as with most of these cards most of them not all of them it knows a brilliant voice and around it's not too powerful but it's pretty cool to look at let's draw the next card this is a victini ex i remember i got this in a trade i don't i'm not sure what i traded it for but i think i traded a level x for it but it shines like that it's a nice holographic just like Meloetta except this doesn't have those sparkles and those turbo energize. Intensifying burn is pretty good. If the defending Pokemon is an EX this attack does 50 more damage so it is at an advantage against everything else in this deck here and that's about it. It's a it's a pretty good card to fight with and it's nice to have because Victini is usually hard to find in the games or pretty much anywhere else. Next card is a Keldeo EX water type, and this looks like the uh, resolute form of Keldeo EX, especially because it knows Secret Sword, and its ability is Russian, Secret Sword, does 20 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon, so that's pretty good to have if you have a bunch of water energies, which I happen to have, and it shines like that. And it has the golden rule on the bottom. Mint condition one. Next we have a Moltres EX by Team Plasma because it has the plasma edge around it. And we have the legendary bird here, destructive flame, power flame, 80 plus. Next one we have is Crystal Edge. You could attach that to a white Kyurem EX, which I have in here. And it will do 50 more damage to the active Pokemon. It is an Ace spec card, so I can only have one of those. Here's a White Kyurem EX. This is one of two variants I have. This one knows Slash and White Inferno, which does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Over here is a Machamp EX. This is a recent one. You know, Steaming Mad and Crazy Hammer. Now that my studio is back in order, let's look at this Sharpedo EX. It's nice and new, almost freshly out of a pack, and it knows Hunt and Jagged Fang, which does 100. It's pretty strong. Our next one is another, the other White Kyurem EX that I promised you guys. Ice Burn does 150 damage, but it takes away 2 Fire Energy, and Dragon Stream does 60 damage. Here's a Shaman EX. Very similar to the Meloetta, except with different nice-looking art. And it knows Revenge Blast and Synthesis. I used to have a Shaman in Omega Ruby, but I traded it away. And here is Black Kyurem EX. That knows Freeze Shock and Dragon Fang, and it could go up to 150 damage, except it can't attack during your next turn. So pretty much, it knows Hyper Beam. Here's another Meloetta EX. This one isn't full art. Otherwise, it's identical to the other one. Here's a Darkrai EX that I got in a promo tin. Hey. Hey. I like this guy's art here because, I don't know, it just looks... Right, it looks kind of creepy, and it goes with his character. Next up, we have Mega Blastoise EX, the first Mega I've shown you. 
and those Hydro Bombard 120, and does 30 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And it has the Mega Evolution rule, when one of your Pokemon becomes a Mega Ev Evolution Pokemon, your turn ends. Well, that sucks. Here is the next card, it is a Hip Out on level X. It is the first level X I am showing you. And it knows Sand Reset and Double Shoot, which says discard two energy, attach to Hip Out on, and choose two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. This attack does 40 damage to each of them. Still not the best. But it's nice to have. Here is Kyurem EX. It knows Frozen Wings and Hail Blizzard. Here we have a Tornadus EX by Team Plasma. And it knows Windfall and Jet Blast, which does 60 plus 30 more damage for each Plasma Energy attached to it. Here is Mewtwo EX. And it knows Side Drive and X Ball. The strongest Pokemon, at least for the first two generations. Here is Mew EX, and he doesn't really know any attacks, but he can use Versatile, which copies your opponent's attacks, kind of like a ditto. Here is Ho-Oh EX, knows Rainbow Burn, 20 more damage for each different type of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. Here is half of a Lugia Legend. I don't have the other half, unfortunately, but I do have this half. Here is Zekrom EX, gotten from a promo tin, and it knows Glinting Claw and Strong Volt. One of my... Well, that is my first Unova EX that I ever got. Here is Rayquaza C Level X by Cynthia, and it knows Final Blow Up, which isn't too good because it discards all of its energy. Here's another Darkrai EX, signed by Champion, who is in pretty fancy script. It knows Night Spear and Dark Cloak. Here is M Mew, um, Ancient Mew, and it's not too great, but it's nice to have because it's a movie exclusive, and it's obviously not in the best condition. I didn't get this personally. That's, that's traded. And then we have this Dialga EX. It knows Chrono Wind, Full Metal Impact, which does 150 damage. Here is Rayquaza and Deoxys Legend. Once again, I don't have the other card, but I have the half of it that probably looks cooler. Here is Primal Kyogre EX. This one is looks nice. It knows Tidal Storm, which does 150 damage, and its retreat cost is 4 energy. Gengar EX, Mega, he knows Phantom Gate, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks and use it as that attack, that's pretty good. Here is a Full Art ho -Oh EX, it is the same as the other one, except it has this nice looking Full Art on it. Here is Flygon EX, it knows Spiral Buzz, 80 plus damage, and Voice of the Sands. Xerneas EX is my only fairy type EX slash level X, and it knows X Blast and Breakthrough. Here is Gengar. It's not a level X or EX, but it's pretty strong because of Curse Drop. Put 4 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like, so you can put 400 damage counters on it, and they're instantly knocked out. Here is. Blaziken level X, it knows Jet Shoot and Burning Spear, and is owned by this person who I don't know the name of, unfortunately. Here is Blastoise EX, it goes with the Mega Blastoise EX, and it could, could go, go up to 120 damage with Splash Bomb. Here is Charizard EX, Fire Blast does 120 damage, kind of like the Blastoise that I just showed you. Venusaur EX, which knows Jungle Hammer and Poison Powder. 90 and 60 respectively, and Empoleon Shiny knows attack command 10 times, 10 <laughs> for the damage counters, I guess, does 10 damage times the number of Pokemon in play, oh, never mind. Here is Charizard Shiny, it knows Split Bomb and Scorching Fire, it's pretty strong.
That's a rare Pokemon. Go, Machamp. Machamp, use Crazy Hammer. Good. Go, Pokeball. The next one we're going to take is... Oh, uh, Ace Spec, G-Booster. Discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. This attacks damage. Isn't affected by effects on the defending Pokemon. So 200 damage, that's actually really good. It could knock out most Pokemon. Here's Genesect that I pair that with. And he's also not in the best condition, but he's a pretty cool card. He knows Red Signal and Megalo Cannon, which does 100. But when I pair him up with the G-Booster, he does much more than that. So here is... Crobat. Crobat knows Skill Dive and Severe Poison. Severe Poison is the stronger attack. It's kind of like Gengar. Here is another one. It's getting hard to pick up because my background is made of cards. This one is a Kobalion. It knows Righteous Edge, 30. Pretty bad. And then... Steel Bullet, 100. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on the defending Pokemon that could be good and bad. Finally, there is this Chandelure. This is my favorite EX in this deck, really for sentimental reasons, because I used to fight with this all the time. When I fought frequent frequently with uh, EX cards, I had a whole deck of EXs, and this one was my best, because put 4 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like, and it has more HP than the Gengar back there. And Eerie Glow is pretty good because it's also now burned and confused. And, and it does 70 damage. So those were all my EXs and level Xs. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Give it a thumbs up slash like. Give it a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next video.